Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. I think it's a scumball activity. Bitcoin is the most superior monetary technology that has ever existed. It's one of the crazier speculative stocks. It's a, it's a very hard asset. Bitcoin's hope. The year is 1948. The world is in turmoil. There has been global devastation. Untold numbers of families from Europe, China, Russia, and elsewhere have lost nearly everything. Their factories, their real estate, their stores, their farms, their gold, their art, everything but their very lives. They escape, penniless to new lands. Amidst all this wreckage, with millions dead from World War II, there remain many millions more who must rebuild everything from the rubble. Yet, despite the turmoil, there is hope. There is the unceasing human spirit of creation. The survivors, our story's families, begin to rebuild. They teach their children this history. They warn of the dangers of tyrants that rise in the shadow of the collapse of money and property rights. But issuing warnings is all they can do. They have no defense against the return of tyranny and monetary debasement, should it happen again. year is 2008. 60 years have passed. So much has been rebuilt that more abundance exists now than ever before. Humanity is flourishing. Global information and trading networks unify the world. They far exceed anything that came before. Cities have been erected by the thousands. Billions live in comfort. Art was preserved and restored. Entrepreneurship is thriving. But not all is well. Our families observe the early signs of collapse, once again rising to cast their dark shadows. Banks suddenly fail across the globe. Governments step in to protect them. They utilize cheap debt and money printing. It comes at a cost. That cost is the principle of fairness. Once they start to drink from this chalice of easy money, governments and those who benefit cannot stop themselves from gorging upon it. They help themselves to hundreds of billions of dollars of unearned wealth. It is a looting that far exceeds any that came before. Meanwhile, quietly, in the dark and nearly deserted recesses of the information network that now spans the Earth, a sole engineer toils to combine cryptographic functions and peer-to-peer -peer technologies to invent something new, something which he hopes might someday serve as money that can never be looted or corrupted by governments, tyrants, thieves, or fools. The year is 2021. A cycle that leads to tyranny and war appears to be repeating. Money is debased. Governments take control of industries through mandates and decrees. International disputes upset a fragile balance where some nations became dependent on others for their necessities. A tyranny has become the largest exporter in the world. People are easily frightened into hysteria. Even within nations, divisiveness has reached record levels even within families. There is a battle, but it is not a military conflict. It is not fought between nations. It is an undeclared war. It is a war over property, wealth, power, and money. It is a war between this story's families who seek freedom and those who seek easy rewards at others' expense. 
Freedom requires living with the consequences of the actions one takes. Freedom requires risk-taking, setbacks, losses, and failures before achieving success. Freedom's opponents seek to avoid this work. They demand results without doing the needed work. This does not work. Every time this path is taken, it leads to tyranny. It is a dead end. Literally, it ends in death. Yet freedom's enemies now possess power in every nation on earth. They meddle in every industry. They promise to fix everything if everyone just obeys their orders. They demonize the disobedient and blame them for the world's problems. Once again, the world is in turmoil. Meanwhile, in relative obscurity, the something that was invented by that sole engineer and released into the world in 2009 is taking root and growing. Its mysterious maker has disappeared. This was part of his design. It is taking on a life of its own. Many families now see it as a source of shelter and protection from the turmoil they see happening around them. They are now using it to protect their wealth, their property, and freedom. The year is 2048. A hundred years have passed since 1948. As happened then, many of the world's currencies collapsed. Many nations fell. Many businesses dissolved. But unlike 1948, it is not a time of poverty, of devastation, or of war. Instead, it is a time of abundance, creativity, and peace. Our families, who spent generations rebuilding since 1948, were not ruined this time because their money did not collapse. Their money protected them just as they had planned. It protected their property, their real estate, their farmlands, their factories, their businesses, their charities, and their art collections. Moreover, it protected human beings. It protected responsible, hardworking, honest human beings. It protected freedom, their money, Bitcoin, the something that that sole engineer released in 2009 was the key technology that prevented a repeat of the destructive tragedies of the 20th century. The people and families who embraced this incorruptible money were saved. They now engage in multi-generational enterprises which are taking human flourishing to new heights. Agriculture is revolutionized. Gone are the days where farmers are beholden to giant monopolies. Gone are unnecessary pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. Gone is dead, dry dirt. Gone is low nutrient food. Gone is the unsustainable, monocrop, unhealthy agriculture of the late 20th and early 21st century. Gone are antibiotics and hormones in livestock. Some of our families restored the land with an agriculture rich in diversity, grown on soil that has naturally regenerated. Livestock, formerly imprisoned in pens, now pastures freely on the plains, contributing to this regeneration. In just 20 years, the earth, the dirt, the land, the soil has healed. The food is delicious, it is nutritious, and it is produced ethically and sustainably. Other families revolutionized education. Gone are national curriculums which commanded that all children must learn the same material at the same age, at the same pace. Gone are costly yet worthless degrees. These are replaced with individualized instruction allowing everyone to learn at their own speed. Each child focuses on their own towering strengths so they can spend their lives doing what they love and sharing their gifts and talents with others. Abundant and free education feeds everyone's minds whenever they are hungry for new knowledge. There is ample, beautiful, and practical housing throughout the world. Everyone has access to water, power, heat, internet, roadways, stores, 
and all the local cultural amenities. This too is thanks to the efforts of families whose wealth was protected by sound money. New manufacturing techniques and the elimination of bureaucracy have helped make housing accessible, but most importantly, the end of home price inflation driven by fractional reserve lending is gone. Housing is now affordable to billions. Land serves only as an employed commodity for residences or other productive endeavors, or as so much of it now is, to be preserved for nature to do with as she pleases. The energy humanity uses has been revolutionized. Inexpensive, small, safe, and clean nuclear generators are deployed all over the world, providing nearly unlimited access to energy for all. Thanks to local energy production everywhere, gone are wars fought over it. This energy abundance exists because it pays to produce energy, since the world's money is earned and secured by energy itself. With defensible freedom, these families ushered in a second renaissance of art and culture. Art celebrating the human spirit of creativity and responsibility. Art exhibiting splendor, beauty, and intelligence. Art that represents civilization's new treasures. It is commissioned, protected, and preserved by those whose wealth is protected and preserved by sound money. This is an age of optimism, hope, creativity, and productivity. The world is building wealth that is no longer measured in the quantity of currency, since the amount of currency is hardly changing. What has wealth become? It is now the sustainable, expanding, uncorrupted productivity of all humanity, enjoyed by all. It is measured in the quality of life of all mankind. The year is 2109. 100 years have passed since the launch of Bitcoin. What began as an obscure project in an unknown place by an unknown person has changed the course of human history. The threat of tyranny arising from monetary debasement is gone. There are no economic crashes. There is sustainable abundance that itself regularly leaps forward thanks to the innovation of free people who combine humanity's cumulative knowledge with their own creativity. It propels mankind forward time and again. We are healthy, our bodies are fit, our minds are sound. Our species is in harmony with nature and the earth. We are done with war. There is neither a reason to, nor an ability to seize the wealth of a neighboring group of people. It is far more rewarding to visit them with love than with violence. Those that recognized and took action to protect their wealth for generations in the 2020s formed new dynasties. They create value for the ages. They teach their children the importance of hard, smart, and honest work. They protect the future by preserving the decentralization of Bitcoin. This will go on, undisturbed, for thousands of years.